Hey guys, so I'm here with an updated wrapping routine. Um, so I'm going to show you exactly how I wrap my hair at nighttime. It's pretty much the same exact way of my last video, but I do get updated requests on like my nightly routine for my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and just film that for you. So I always use my satin scarf. This is from Bon Bon Chavot, which I will link down below all of my bonnets. And pretty much all of my bonnets and scarves are from Bon Bon Chevelle. I love that company for hair accessories and I almost exclusively get all of my like hair care accessories from there. I always like around Christmas order bonnets and stuff for my nieces. So yeah, love that company. It is a small um, business so I definitely would suggest that you support them. And I love this scarf. It's green, my favorite color, and it's huge. So I use my satin scarf and then I also always moisturize my hair at night time before I go to sleep. Today I'm going to use the Body Canvas by um, Dr. Andrea Bridges. It really depends on what I use. Sometimes I use a serum, sometimes I use an oil only. Um, today I'm going to use this shea cream here. Um, and then sometimes, I'm not going to do it tonight, but sometimes I also put a little bit of um, edge tamer just to make sure it's nice and soft and smooth and sleek in the morning when I take my hair down. But I'm not going to do that today because my hair is pretty new. Um, I just got it done um, because I got a haircut. I normally do my hair myself, but I recently got a haircut, so I got it done. I also use a comb. I use... It's a little has a little bit of hair in it but I use a paddle brush and I use a boar bristle brush which is very very important um, for wrapping my hair because I don't use bobby pins and I'll show you exactly what I use I have my little hair care thing here this is my little toothbrush from when I use my edge tamer but I actually use these duck bill clips to wrap my hair then I take them out before I tie up my hair scarf and I'll show you exactly how I do that first I'm gonna get my clips that I'm gonna use out and be, when my hair is pretty like fluffy and new I use I tend to use a bunch of these clips um, but once my hair gets like a few days old and um, starts to get a little bit more weighed down I only need to use like two clips but because my hair is really fluffy it's probably gonna be unmanageable and uncooperative uncooperative it's not gonna want to get wrapped so I'm gonna use a little bit more of these clips I think I'm gonna have to probably use four so I'll use some of these small little metal ones and I will use this large one here the first thing I like to do is take my wide tooth comb. This is a rake comb and um, it works really really good on straight hair because the little comb is like the little teeth are very very long so you can really get in your hair. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and lightly just detangle through my hair so that when I'm wrapping my hair I don't you know snag my hair or anything. I just like to make sure it's detangled fully. Because when I just get my hair done, it's like, oh my god, all over the place. And it likes to get tangled really, really easy, especially the back here. Okay. So, no hair on here, which is great. Now I'm going to get a little bit of my shea cream here. This is what I'm going to moisturize with. I'm going to warm it up and then I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my hair and I really concentrate on my ends which are the oldest part of your hair so you want to give that area some TLC Okay, so now what I like to do is sometimes I take a comb, sometimes I just take my finger and I make a part right by my ear and I just take my hair, swing it over, I take my paddle brush and I start to just brush all my hair over to the side and there's usually like a part here so I brush the hair all back. And then I go all the way over 
Then I take my border bristle brush and I start to smooth the hair. Make sure it's nice and smooth using my hand and the brush. And then I start to put my clips in. I like to make sure that my sleeves are out of the way because they can like mess up my wrap <laughs> if they touch my hair. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure to smooth my hair. And again, I like to use my hands to kind of hold the hair in place. Over here, I'll use this large one. And sometimes I'll use the bore brush to push the hair and like kind of really brush through the hair. Because I'm always, you know, you always want to kind of smooth your hair. So I'm going to bring all the hair around. And you want to make sure that on the top here, you kind of have it flat. So I have that all brushed over. Now I'm going to take the Borbit Salt Brush, smooth it, smooth it, and I'm going to add a clip. Like that. And I'm going to still hold the hair and I'm going to take the first clip out and start to smooth the hair. Your hand, like, really holding your hair is going to really help this process, especially when you're not using pins. I don't use pins in my hair, like bobby pins, to wrap my hair because they give, like, dents in the hair, and I like my hair to look really smooth. And not really good to have to sleep with in your hair either, so I know some people don't use a lot of pins, but I just rather not have them in my hair at all. So again, I'm holding the hair. Smoothing it around. And as I get to the pens that I place, I move them and smooth the hair and replace the pens in. Remove it. Smooth the hair. the pen in. You might not have to go all the way around your head as many times as I do because my hair is a little longer. Um, so I tend to go around about two times, two and a half times. And once you kind of get to the end, you want to be very, very careful and not be rough because your wrap will fall right out of place if you're not careful with the ends. Okay. So it feels pretty smooth to me. This is how the wrap looks. Now I'm going to take my scarf here. I'm going to place it over my head. It's in a triangle. So it's a square scarf, but I put it in a triangle. And I put the point to the back. My scarf is a little dirty. <laughs> Don't mind it. Because I do, you know, wear my scarf in the morning. I cross the two ed uh, ends over in the back. And I don't tie it. I kind of like hold it under my neck here. And I take out the pins while it's loose. I lightly, lightly take the pins out. Because you don't want to disturb your wrap. So you kind of go under. And you... See, I just took a piece of hair out. Gotta be careful. And then, okay. Okay. 
way. This is a process that you have to be pretty careful with. So I got all, all four out. Just make sure the hair is smooth under. And I tighten the two edges. I like to put my wrap behind my ears because I don't like to sleep with my wrap on my ears. It makes me feel crazy. <laughs> so I put it behind my ears and then I tie the front like that. I tuck in the little edge and you can take this part up and down. This is why it has makeup on it. You can take this up and down. Like when you're doing makeup, you can put it up and you know do your makeup. Um, when you're cleaning your face, you can put that up. And then when I go to sleep, I just bring it back down so that my wrap doesn't fall off. And then there's this back part left over. So I like to take it, twist it, and tuck it. And that is how I wrap my hair once I take this down in the morning and you know I just comb my hair down with my little rake comb put my part in and it is totally straight and sleek for the day and I repeat the process every single night I hope you guys enjoyed the video please don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe for more videos and don't forget to comment down below if you have any specific questions on you know wrapping your hair or if you want to share any techniques that you have with me on wrapping your hair and I'll see you in the next video thank you so much guys I love you for watching bye